When I was in Nigeria in July last year, I saw my little cousins doing what children do, inventing their own games and playing with all the laughter, all the energy of children. It took me back to my own childhood in Nigeria with my grandmother, my aunties and uncles in the same house that my little cousins are now growing up in. In fact, when I told them that I did the same chores as I saw them doing, they couldn't believe me because they couldn't picture me, American as I am now, playing in the dirt like them and peeling cassava to make Gary as I saw them doing. It reminded me that it was that backdrop, that foundation, that molded who I am today. It's what makes it possible for me to compete successfully as I do with a global publishing company. It's what will propel me to, my, to achieve my full potential. It's what makes it possible for many of us who have similar childhoods to do the same thing. But the fragility of that childhood has to be protected. It needs to be protected. It must be protected, in fact. Otherwise, the children lose confidence in who they are and what they can achieve. Thinking about all of this, I decided to make the next Palm Print Living Room conversation about the lives of children. In the books I will be talking about, Say You're One of Them by Uwem Akwan, Ghana Must Go by Taya Selassie, and Beasts of No Nation by Uzadi Miwala. The authors show us what happens when the playful innocence of childhood is not protected. They also show us how important it is for children to be linked to the ancestral history. Otherwise, they become weightless and scattered, as Taya Selassie tells us, not knowing how to feel about themselves. This is the Palm Print Living Room Conversation Series. Please join us and let's see what else we can find.